Hi students, uh, last time we have discussed up to the topic that is oscillatory motions and uh, periodic motions. We know it about the difference between these two also. So now we will start from the topic that is simple pendulum. Okay, in this simple pendulum, again from the topic here, pendulum means what? Pendulum is a Latin word coming from the pendulas. So its meaning is hanging. So in this simple pendulum, you are going to use a heavy point mass. This heavy point mass here is a metallic bow. Metallic bow. Okay, the name given is here is B O B bow. Okay, metallic one is going to be considered here, and this metallic bow is going to hang using this. This line here is a thread. Okay, this thread means we can use the name here is string. Okay, and the point here. Where your ball is hanging down from the wall is what we call point of support. And this wall here we just call give the name rigid wall. Means uh, it should be fixed, not uh, changeable. Okay, not movable. Right. So that's why all the names are given here. And again, I am just showing here another also force direction here is this one is here. I will explain it later. So means in simple pendulum. The definition we can say it means what? It's a simple machine having point mass. Okay, and that point mass should be hanging down from a rigid support using a massless and inextensible string. So this string should be having not uh, means should not should not have mass. Okay, mass should be zero. And the uh, a string should not be should be inextensible, not change its length. It should be constant. So this is the definition of simple pendulum. Okay, I will show the definition here. You can write it down here. Okay, simple pendulum. See here. Simple pendulum is a heavy point mass suspended from a rigid support. Okay, by a massless and inextensible string. Okay, and here if you are taking the rigid wall into like um, means uh, F, not a, what to say, means not fixed one. Then the periodic nature of the this instrument cannot be maintained. If periodic nature is not maintained here, then you cannot use that device to measuring the time. Means for measuring the time. Periodic nature should be there in that device. Get it? And here we just say massless. Why? Massless is going to consider. If you take the mass, then when you are trying to find out the time, okay, and then your problems will be more critical. Means more complex. If if you take massless, then it will be more easy to find out. That's why. So we take these conditions. And again, another definitions uh, we can say in this simple pendulum, mainly it is going to base on the effect of gravity, because of the attraction of the means uh, means art uh, because of the attraction that is that force will be generated by the art. Okay, because of the gravity, I will tell you explain you. Gravity means what? Gravity means force of it is a property. Okay, that is the force of attraction generated by the art. To any object, okay, towards the art surface. But that is the what we call is a gravity. I will show you another definition of gravity here. Here it is. A, I just write here. Means uh, gravity means it is the force of attraction exerted by the art to any object which is acting towards the center of the art. Means the direction of the what to say that force should be towards the center of the art. Okay, but the property means gravitation. Gravity means what? It's a property of the force. Okay, and the force that develops, that is the 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 force. What to say? That is attraction between the means this object. Okay, this object is what? This is ball, and the art is what? That force is what? Gravitational force. Okay, because of the attraction. Because of the what to say here the gravitational force direction here I just denote the direction is in downward. Because of the gravitational force is always downward and in this string, okay, it means if you are going to pulling down, what to say the thread will be break, broken, broken, but it's not broken 
so because of another force will be developed it means another force need to be developed so that that force will be this force will be maintain it cancel it out so that force that bluff on this what to say uh, means string yeah thread will be what we call tension okay the direction of what is the gravitation and force is downward the direction of tension will be upward so that the direction means that this this two force will be maintained okay we need now we understand that means there are two forces this means up to now we and uh, we understand that there are two forces one is tension and force one is gravitation and force and another force will be going to coming out restoring force the three this three force will act on this both okay and so you need to understand it what are the forces that are act on the both so you can need to mention this three now we need to understand it about some terms related to this one this in uh, this figure here you see uh, uh, the another one is length of pendulum length of pendulum means what length of pendulum means we can say uh, what is that one here length of pendulum means we can say the distance from the point of support to the midpoint of this bow we can say it is the length of the pendulum okay and another one need to know is oscillations one oscillations how can we define it okay i just saw here means yeah, this time starting time here you are not applying any force if you are not applying any force then that object need to be stay in rest that property is what we call inertia of rest inertia means what inertia is a property any of any object whether the object will be try to always try to uh, means stay at rest yeah in motion okay that property is what we called means inertia and in inertia also inertia means i just write the means uh, here e inertia but in inertia also three types one is inertia of rest inertia of direction okay inertia of motion but here before you apply the force the, the which kind of inertia will be there inertia of rest r e r e s t okay so here you see the means uh, three positions here what is that if you apply the force means if you apply the force the position of the object will need to be changed right here i just because of applying force i am just going to keep the point here of the point b okay so here what i am showing the direction direction of gravitational force and here it's uh, going to be tension and force okay if you are going to displace from this position to here the point b then after you release your hand then this means ball will be coming back and by passing this what this is the mean position yeah equilibrium position okay and i am going to the another another side this is point c and again coming back like this okay means oscillations will be there so the point b and the point c is what we call extreme position so i just show you the figure what is the figure uh this is one why 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 okay you can see from here you see i just write here this one is a extreme figure extreme position okay and here i just write here length of pendulum length of pendulum is this one so and this one is the equilibrium position yeah mean position okay, don't be confused so if you displace the means uh, both ball on the right side okay and then from here to here is what we call means here here to here is what we call it is the means amplitude okay amplitude means what means the maximum displacement from how to say the main position to the extreme position that is what we call means amplitude okay you can displace on the left side also so displacement if you displace from this one to on the right side then displacement should be positive and if you displace on the left side then displacement should be negative and if you are not displacing if you keep it, it means at rest then displacement should be zero 
then we can say displacement can be negative also displacement can be positive also displacement can be zero also these three conditions also be there okay so here we understand that what is the amplitude of the means the oscillation yeah the amplitude what is amplitude of this one simple time room you can say the maximum displacement or i also uh, mention it now another one is one oscillation how can we determine one oscillation one oscillations can be determined means the motion of this bow means from this extreme position by passing through this one means which one uh, mid uh, mean position to the other end this other end means other extreme position and again coming back to this position okay uh, by going like this coming going this one and again coming back and this will give the one complete oscillations okay when completing this one complete oscillations then we can say time will be taken there the time taken is what we call time period okay and now you know what is one oscillation what is what to say uh, time period okay now you just need to write down this one definition also means what you can write it like this i just activate it now you see the uh, maximum uh, i just write it amplitude here is the maximum displacement of the uh, bow from mean the position on either side is called the amplitude okay here also you just fix the figure and now uh, what is that means uh, another definition is what means one oscillation the motion of the bow from the this extreme position to the other end by passing this uh, main position and again coming back to the this one is this is what is what we call it as uh, one oscillations okay and uh, uh, means uh, and the time taken when you make the one complex oscillation is what we um, uh, is called what we call period of oscillation your time period okay and you see the definition here the motion of the bow or pendulum from from one extreme to the other and back is called what pendulum get it and now here also period means when you make one complete oscillation time will be taken here the time taken is what period of oscillation your time period and its unit is second okay the time taken by the bow of pendulum to complete one oscillation is called time period and its unit is second and again here i just uh, show you another one frequency of oscillation what is frequency of oscillation frequency of oscillations mean what means during one second the number of oscillations make is what we called frequency of oscillations so in definitions we are rely here the number of oscillations made by the swinging pendulum swinging pendulum per second is what we call frequency of oscillations and its unit is what hertz yeah you can say second inverse so i just write here second inverse here yeah, hertz don't be confused now another is very important one that is relation between uh, what that is what means time period and we can say frequency okay so here i just take let t be the time period of simple pendulum means if you take t as a time period then how many oscillations will can make mean it should be one why means time period means when you make one complete oscillations that is the time period no time taken is what that is the time period so the number of oscillations should be only one get the point when you make one complete oscillation and the time taken is what we can call it as time period so in time t second the number of oscillation is one so then in one second how many number of oscillations then you need to be divide okay then like this number of oscillation will be one by t if you divide this time period to the number of oscillations then you can get it the what to say ha huh? means the number of oscillations okay means here in one second we get this one one by t so when we define the frequency what do we get 
the number of oscillation. This is the number of oscillations, right? 1 by t is the number of oscillations during 1 second. Then it is equal to the frequency. So, means frequency is f. So, f equal to 1 by t. Right. Here, if you use a uh, symbol, means uh, means unit, it is a s, small s, then it's up to second inverse. Don't use the capital S. If you write capital S, it's going to be wrong. When I mentioned about guidelines for writing the units, I discuss it. Here, the relation also time period equal to 1 by F. Okay, means they are inversely proportional to each other. Okay, when you increase the number of, uh, number of what to say, means uh, uh, time period, then the frequency will be decreased. So, these things. And another is, what are the forces acting on the roof? That is, restoring force. And another is, gravitational force and other is what tensional force right and on on which basis this simple pendulum works on the effect of gravity because in every position the bow will be attract means pulling downwards so but it's not falling down because another force is developed on the string which, which kind of force tension okay all these things you all need to know it Thank you, student.